Skeet Reese here. Welcome to TackleWarehouse.com. You know what, we're gonna do a little uh, tip today on post-spawn fishing. When these fish get done, uh, get up in the shallows doing the spawn thing, uh, there's a couple ways to catch them. Uh, sometimes, you know, they're gonna move out and get on the ledges, but certain lakes, they'll stay up a little bit shallower. And probably my favorite way, and most America's favorite way to catch them is a topwater bait. So, we're gonna show you a little gunfish action here this morning and, uh, you know, kind of tell you what to look for and, uh, and just ways to work the bait. So, post spawn, topwater, they can be big and they can be fun. Probably, uh, without a doubt, my favorite topwater bait in the entire lineup for Lucky Craft. No, it's not a Sammy. I know most of you love the Sammy, the gunfish. This is my go-to topwater bait. Uh, there's 115 in the 95. Uh, if I'm trying to get a small profile bait, uh, you know, certain lakes, a 95 is a better way to go. You want a bigger bite, you go to the 115. That right there is money. So, uh, let's talk about the gunfish. It's really not different than any working any other topwater bait uh, as far as a walking bait. Uh, it's still going to be the same cadence as far as popping the rod tip, make the bait walk side to side. We'll go over that a little bit. But the Lucky, Con Lucky Craft Gunfish is my favorite topwater bait. So here we go. All right, when I'm fishing a topwater bait, such as the gunfish, um, I'm using my jerkbait topwater rod. It's a Ryden McGill to Sarah, the Skeet Reese to Sarah series. Um, it's a little bit lighter action rod. But the one thing that I do that I'm a firm believer in is I love fishing spider wire on my topwater baits. Um, unless I'm fishing a, a lake mead where it's absolutely gin clear and I need as finesse as I can get as far as stealth, the image, the look, and feel of the bait, uh, where I'm going to fish a lighter monofilament. Uh, but most of the time, I'm going to throw a 30 pound spider wire. Now, what it does, it allows me to get a bait out there, but I can work the bait a lot more efficiently. I don't have to work the rod tip as much to get the same action out of a bait. So, at the end of the day, if you're throwing a top water bait all day long, it's way more efficient and less work on your body to do it. So, uh, and you get a lot. And especially when you get bit on a mile long cast, you launch that thing out there about 175 feet and one goes poosh. Monofilament can have a lot of stretch in it. A lot of times you're gonna lose that fish. So with the spider wire, you're gonna get a good hook set, long cast, but you also need to make sure you got a soft rod. If you're using too stiff of a rod, you can't use spider wire. So use the, use the top water rod, the jerk bait top water rod, give you the advantage you need. All right, the post spawn bite. Post spawn, they're done spawning. Um, a lot of times what happens, the males will stick up shallow and guard fry. Uh, the females will pull out to uh, a little bit deeper structure. Now, sometimes they may pull out on a ledge. So if you're on a Kentucky lake, they're gonna go sulk out in the middle lake. Certain lakes like here in Clear Lake, they'll pull out and get on the ends of these docks. So you can go two, you can go two prong approach. You can go up shallow and target some of the males or you can try and target the females, they're still gonna be related to shade. And that's typically the number one thing you wanna remember is post-spawn, even though the fish are shallow, it's no different, they're, they're gonna to relate to cover. So an end of a dock like this has got a nice shade line. That's where this fish is gonna be positioned, not on the sunny side, they're gonna be right up in the, sun, in the shade in this corner right here, waiting for a meal. Um, you get up shallower, you get up in the grass lines, tule lines, things like that, those fish can be along that as well. But remember, fish and topwater baits, in post-spawn situations, get your bait near the cover. Okay, one thing you can do when fishing topwater around, you know, this target fishing uh, in post-spawn is, a lot of times it's gonna be slowing your bait down. Um, you know, for me, I go to the gunfish, that's my go-to bait. The other bait would probably be a, a G-Splash 80. Uh, both baits, what I'm going to try and do, I'm not going to work them really fast. I'm going to keep the bait up in the strike zone. So if there's one little pocket of shade, I'm going to work that bait a little bit, stop it. Work it, stop. Now if I was fishing open water in the summertime trying to catch schooling fish, I'd keep that bait working all the time. But these fish, they're not going to chase as much. So I'm going to get that bait up there, keep it in the strike zone as long as you can because if you're looking right, if you look right here, look at that piece of brush. That's where a bass would be. So there's only about a two, you know, a two foot area where you're probably going to get that bite there. So if I don't get that bait right there, pop, 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 stop it. I'm probably not going to get the bite. So 
but I'm gonna focus on that one little sweet spot and then pull out. Then here's another corner over here that there could be a fish right on the edge of those toolies right there in that little pocket. That could be a post spawn fish. Those are the kind of things you're working. Think about structure, no different than if you're flipping or throwing a spinner bait, you wanna throw your top water bait right there as well, post spawn, to generate a lot of strikes. All right, what colors of Lucky Craft do you fish? As far as I'm concerned, it's, I, I'm gonna stick, stick with either a shad bait fish imitation, so uh, ghost minnow, roar black, uh, gunmetal shad, those, something that's bait fish orientated. The only other thing that you wanna consider, which is very effective that time of year, is a bluegill pattern. So if you look at like the new baby BG, perfect bluegill imitation. So when these fish get up shallow, bluegill start coming eating the fry, basket pissed, they're gonna eat the bluegill too. So either one is still with a bait fish, you know, natural bait fish color or a bluegill color for your top water baits. So that's my suggestion. All right, so I give you a little insight on how I fish the, the Lucky Crab Gunfish post spawn situation. So think about the gunfish, whether it's a G-Splash, a Sammy, but all the baits, you fish them the way I showed you, get up on the cover, get on them shade lines, you're gonna catch you some big ones. So, I'm Skeet Reese. Thank you for coming to TackleWarehouse.com. Goodbye.